I woke up and couldn't find you beside me. Concerned? Yeah, concerned. I mean, today is holiday. I expected you to be resting all morning. You know how hell you wake up to go to work six days a week. We need all the rest we can get. I know, baby. I just woke up early and I just couldn't sleep. Do you have anything in mind? Yes, baby. I have something on my mind. And that thing will always be on my mind. And what's that thing that will always be on your mind? It's you. <laughs> oh, this map. You are the best thing that's ever happened to me. And I bless the day I found you. And you are my dream come true. I love you so much. I love you too, Ali. <laughs>
Babe, I'm so happy I met you. You're just the man I pray for. Hmm. You are the woman of my dream. And your sweet coochie keeps driving me crazy. Alright. I love you so much. I love you too, baby. That reminds me. Um, what about what I discussed with you the last time? I don't remember what you discussed with me the last time. Ah, oh, babe. About the house I told you we should build for Mama. I want her to leave the family house and come to the city. Yeah, yeah, baby. Um, I remember. That's a nice idea. Mm -hmm. But um, you know we have a project at hand currently. Come on, babe, that shouldn't be a problem. You know I'm from a wealthy home, and I know how to get money from my parents if need be. Hmm? That's my woman. Love <laughs> <laughs> oh. you so much, huh? Oh. <laughs> Susan, how are you? I'm very well, thank you, sir. You look good, sir. Thank you. Susan. Yes, madam. Why are you praising my husband's appearance? I hope you're not admiring my husband in this house. Oh, no, madam. Come on, baby. Mm -hmm. You know Susan is a humble girl. Maybe she just like my outfit. I look good, don't I? You do. I also look good. Why does she have to praise you and not me? You look good, baby. Forget Susan. Madam. Shut up. Just make sure you prepare the granite soup and make sure you go to the tailor to get my clothes. Yes, ma. Let's go before the party Have a nice day, ma. Hello, sweet girl. Hey. It's 2.15 p.m. What are you doing at home? I hope there is no problem at work. There is no problem at work. I was just missing you and I just had to rush home and spend some time with you before my wife get back from work. I hope your boss won't be angry with you. My boss? Forget about my boss. I have him under control. Um, Always remember to lock the gate. You know we don't have a gate, man. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll make sure I check regularly. That's my baby. <laughs> you know what? Um, I don't have time. I'm on fire right now. Oh, I'm cooking. I know, baby. I can't wait. Okay, let me reduce the fire. Okay. Ah, that's my yo. Susan. Susan. Yes, ma. What kind of a maid are you? I pay you double salary to be my cook and my house cleaner. I did not pay you to come into my house to have to submit my instructions. Why didn't you go to the tailor for my clothes? I'm sorry, madam. I did not disobey your instructions. I forgot. Do you get yourself? 
myself. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, madame. I did not disobey your instructions. I forgot. I thought I reminded you seven yesterday. I did not this morning. And yet you're telling me you forgot. I'm sorry, madame. Are you serious? Okay. I know what to do. I will deduct money from your salary this month. Madam, please, ma. Please, ma. Please, ma. Please, ma. Please, ma. Please, ma. What's going on here? Can you imagine? Susan forgot to go and get my clothes from the tailor. I told her they wanted a salary. Susan, why did you go for Madam's clothes? I'm sorry, sir. I forgot. Can you imagine? That's what she keeps saying whenever she behaves foolish. I'm sorry, madame. I forgot. I know what to do. I will make sure I remove money from her salary this month. Come on, baby. Don't reduce money from her salary. You know Susan is a hardworking lady. Even though sometimes she acts foolishly. Please forgive her and let her do her job. I need to teach her a lesson. Calm down, baby. Okay? Don't worry yourself over Susan. Who is Susan? Are you not her boss? Please forgive her and let her do her job, okay? And what are you still doing there? I'm sorry, mom. I'm sorry, mom. It's okay. It's okay. I don't know. I just don't know what to do with Susan in this house. I don't know. Susan, I know you are angry with me because of the way my wife spoke to you when I was... You know she's my wife. I had to speak that way to make her feel good. I did this for you. You called me a foolish girl. And you said you did that for me. Were you not the one that came back from work this afternoon that made me not to go for Madame's clothes? I'm sorry, okay? <sighs> To make you feel bad and make her feel good. You know she's my wife. That's the only way she can forgive you. I know you don't love me. Come on, Susan. I love you more than I love Angela. It's just that she's my wife and you're not. I don't believe you. <sighs> okay. I know what to make you believe me. Ta da! <laughs> All this for me? Oh my god. I can't believe this. <gasps> Thank you. I told you I love you more than I love my wife. I believe you. No, I don't believe you. Believe I'm me. serious. I believe you. Show me. How? Give me one round before I go back to my room. Oh, but I already gave you two rounds this afternoon. Come on, Susan. You know I enjoy your coochie very much. But it's too risky. What if Madame comes looking for you? Forget about Madame. She sleeps like a pig. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's hurry up and give do one so we can go. Sure. Oh. Oh. Yes. 
Yes, madam. Get in my bag. Right. Get the stuff from the boot and take them to the kitchen. All right, madam. Not too bad. What am I paying you for? Don't you ever! Shut up! Your old time come down to slap you. I'm not sluggish like you. See you, Susan. You, you think you have something to tell me? You that are chop left and right for my dream. Even for Madame, she was my wife in my dream, and I, and she lost me more than I loved her. And, and, and you think you have something to say? Let me even go back to my sleep. Maybe I can have another big dream. 